Third. I feel really pretty discombobulated tonight. I like discombobulated. That's guys, a good word. Discombobulation. Hi, I'm Javier. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gretchen. And I'm Melanie. And this is Fishbowl, our weekly get together with you guys answering the questions that you've asked this past week. Just your concerns on sleep, furniture, mattresses, life in general, her mental condition. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Her mental condition Did you is really extremely just bright. Her <laughs> I am happy and I am spreading happiness and rainbows to our community. You should have seen the looks on people's faces today. Oh, I saw them. I actually even got my picture taken with <laughs> yes. them. I, there was photos requested. I saw, no, I, saw, I, I walked out here out of the mm -hmm. office and I saw two very, very lovely ladies with you. Yes. And Gretch was taking a picture for some reason and I was like, Oh no, it's a wanted photo. Yes, Miss Patsy and Miss Glenda were here and they were like, can we please get a photo with you before we leave because you are so awesome. And anyway, it was awesome because I opened the door, you know, you have to ring the doorbell when you mm -hmm. first get here. Mm -hmm. And they were not expecting this. They were not expecting this when the door opened. And I, I was wasn't like, expecting this. Happy Friday. <laughs> this is how we Friday, y'all. And uh, I did just say y'all. Yeah, yes you did. <laughs> and they were just really excited and even Miss Glenda had stripes on so we matched. We were like twinsies. And I believe she said <laughs> I'm looking for stripes. <laughs> I believe she said right something here. that she had to have the picture to show to her brother that this is how we roll. This is how we roll yes. and this is who she bought her bed from that she actually bought a bed from a real life. Do we have permission Unicorn. Do we have permission to use this in any of our social media? Yes, I yes. did ask both of the ladies for their permission oh. and we have a photograph oh, that's, that's going to so bing right here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's so awesome. Okay. So thank you for the feedback because when I was getting dressed today, I mean, this is the most over the top of the top. This I is, would think this yeah, is a gift yeah. from Gretch because she was like, I've got a really deck melody. You heard now. that right. This was a gift from Gretch and uh. <laughs> I love so it. So we've teamed up. I love it. And uh, I was getting ready and I was like, I'm going to rock it. I'm just going to go to work and we're going to rock it. And it was a smash hit and people love it. You need to show them your striped socks and your shoes. Make sure they oh. see it all. Yep. So I've got, I've got the, Her tutu. this, and I might be off tutu, camera. Folks. I almost fell over. And I do have the striped socks yes. and I have even like awesome tie-dyed shoes that yep. go with it yep yep yeah that's there's a, more there's that's more an outfit. That's you know with every costume change there's always more to come so, so stay we're tuned. so we're expecting a yes. costume oh change. and there's a tail somewhere we're expecting a costume change people yes this is a show about sleep and answering your questions and yet for some reason there's a costume change every time <laughs> all right so how was your week it's been very computer this week. Very computer, okay. Yes, I okay. have been, I feel like I should be cross-eyed right now. By the time I, and I'm not lying, when you left on that last delivery, uh -huh. I actually put my head down for a few minutes on my arm just to take a brief little siesta. But it was so brief that I woke up as soon as I started because I was afraid you were gonna come into the office at any point and scare me. That would have happened, yeah. So. <laughs> or, <laughs> or sprayed you with the now water, but, but yeah. Yeah, well, I wasn't willing to risk that, so I actually set up and pushed through. Good. But I have fear. Been fear. <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate inspira inspiration. Fear. No, it's not fear. It's just what I would have done wouldn't have been nice. <laughs> 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 so I had to just wake up and suffer. Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to the right choice. <laughs> to, making, to making Choices. the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> So this, this week's tea is apple empanada and Banana. which in Spanish is kind of like a pie. Oh my gosh, this is good. It's delicious. It's a really delicious little folded it pie yeah. like a cider mm, with taste cinnamon to it. and sugar. Yeah, yeah this like, is very nice. The, where you put the little fork and you do the edges and it's like a, a little yeah. bread tortilla. Yeah. But better than a tortilla. I'll make, I'll make one for you. Mm. It's like a fruit hot pocket. Yeah, that's yes. the best way to describe no, it. No, it's not a hot pocket. It is I an said it's light. It's an empanada. Yeah, but if, Where's your if chicken? someone is listening outside <laughs> of the state of New Mexico, they might go, what is an empanada? They'll know what a hot pocket is. This, wait. Oh. Th right there. That's an empanada. See? It's like a hot that's pocket. That's an empanada. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so um, we start off the show. We start off the show with a, a weekly topic. Um, I just want to tell you guys our topic from a couple of weeks ago, where we talked about. Um, oh gosh, now I'm having a brain fart. It's gone. Anyways, our topic from a couple of weeks I ago. I think you should play a fart sound. Right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the, co the 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 topic we covered a couple of weeks ago made national news yesterday. That is awesome. Yeah, we're on top of it. That's we're how ahead. that we're, we're to on top of it. We are a research. Yeah, crew. yeah. So okay, so this what week's was that topic. I can't remember, <laughs> but it's right here. <laughs> Anyways, that all was right. our topic. About that was our topic two weeks ago, and the it national media just got ways to fall asleep during this time frame. No, it was something else. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Continuing on. All right, <laughs> continuing on. So this week's topic is disrupted sleep can be seriously affecting your health. And this... <laughs> she left me. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so disrupt, <laughs> disrupted sleep can be seriously affecting your health. This is off of WebMD. This came out uh, this morning. So, waking up briefly throughout the night may do more than leaving you f grumpy and tired in the morning. Disrupted sleep may actually increase your odds of dying early from heart disease or any other cause, and women seem to be hit harder by these effects than men. Ooh. That's a scary thing. That That's almost will scare you to sleep. Yep. It'll make you sleep. The data underscores all the more reasons why we need to be screening people about whether or not they feel refreshed and how much sleep they are actually getting at night. This is from the Academy of Sleep Medicine. Um, nighttime arousals are caused by noise, temperature, pain, and pauses in breathing as a result of sleep apnea. You can add dogs. Yeah, all, all kinds of noises. Yep, yep, kids, dogs. Um, they are brief. They're, you're often unaware of them unless they're strong enough to wake you up and your, your partner notices. When these arousals become frequent, however, they take a toll on your health. A new study researcher for the okay for the new study, researchers analyzed data from sleep monitors worn by participants in three different studies. In all, 8,000 men and women were followed around for six to 11 years. Now, this is a pretty extensive study. Mm -hmm. Women who, women who experienced more nighttime sleep disruptions over long time periods had nearly double the risk of dying from heart disease and were also more likely to die early from all other causes compared to women who slept more soundly. Men with frequent nighttime sleep disruptions were 25% more likely to die from heart disease compared to men who got sounder sleep. The triggers for sleep arousal or the body's response to it may be different in men than women. Men, women and men may, uh, may have different Compensatory? I don't know what that was. Compens, yeah, whatever. They compensate differently for coping with de detrimental effects of arousal. Exactly how, or even if, disrupted sleep leads to increased risk of early death is not fully understood. But the new study wasn't designed to show cause and effect. Many people who frequent or with frequent arousals and poor sleep have other risks for heart disease, including obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes, and lung disease. That one surprised me, lung disease. Mm -hmm. anxiety, and stress, anxiety and stress can rob you of sleep, can rob you of sleep and are known for their harmful effects. So it goes on to say, uh, basically consider different sleep hygiene ideas to help you sleep better. Uh, and also how it can help you basically uh, avoid the risks of heart disease. Mm -hmm. The findings were pretty big. So when you guys read this article, what did you guys think? Did it scare you? No. Well, it tied into what I learned last night. Actually, I was listening to a lecture on sleep deprivation and, and kind of the similar wavelength I was out I didn't even know you were going to pull this article today, but, um, and it was talking about sleep deprivation and even uh, in men and women and how it really disrupts our hormones um, and that yep. they've done studies with our military and stuff like that because you, that's part of your training is to go through sleep deprivation. Um, but if it's a regular basis and you're getting um, 
you know, because sometimes in our society we tout having less sleep is kind of a badge of honor. Right, because um, you can get more done. You can get more done and it works really well, uh, especially as business owners and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we kind of minimalize, you know, sleep. Um, so that was very interesting, but it, it that lecture that I listened to um, pointed out testosterone levels. And yep. in a younger male, their testosterone levels after even just a week or two of sleep deprivation are more closer uh, on cord with, say, an older mm -hmm. gentleman. It drops, so uh, sperm count drops significantly even in teenagers, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, it, it really hits all of our systems. I think even they mentioned, uh, it's not here in this article, but uh, inflammatory illnesses and mm -hmm. chronic inflammation of your yep. body. Mm -hmm. So and it can be debilitating. Debilitating, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's 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 definitely huge. And one thing that I did learn um, was that sometimes this can be a, con a contributor to this can be uh, sleeping pills. Right. Because we mm -hmm. we miss or other. Um, Don't ruin next week's topic because that's next goodness, week's topic. Boy, I'm like on a wavelength. That you're, must be the like horn. There. This is like an antenna. Mwah. <laughs> I, we'll I'll do that again. One. Twee. <laughs> oh dear. So but yeah, about so the don't and pills. don't those work hand in hand. Yeah, and don't don't mistake sedation for sleep. Right, there's a difference. There's a big, there's big, a big difference, difference, and it's a it's a big problem mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. our society right now. Yep. So you said you weren't scared by this article. Why? Um, I guess because I've read on it so many times that it's just like a a life fact. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when I was thinking about, okay, how can you relate this article or this information mm -hmm. to people where they just grab it on a normal basis, um, the military is really one who pushes, you know, the sleeping pills for men when they have to go so many hours to stay awake and then so many hours they need to catch up on some sleep, especially when they're out in the field and stuff. Those work hand in mm -hmm. hand. Yep. I've heard many on those, but I was thinking about average people so I just wrote down things I was just thinking of. Yeah. And not so just our military, but law enforcement, yep. central yeah. workers. Anybody with swing shifts. S yep. Mm -hmm. FedEx, Everybody, UPS, yeah. all of those, you pilots know. Pilots even. Pilots. Yep. Think about it. It's yep. scary. Parents, mamas. But I was mamas. thinking about natural sleep disruptions. So I just made a list of things I just could think off the top of my head. And this is so you can understand that these sleep disruptions happen throughout a lifetime. It's not just during certain peaks. Um, but it's also everyday normal life situations, okay? Being a new parent, you have your baby constantly waking you and disrupting sleep patterns. Um, puppies and pets, like you said with dogs and stuff, they wake up in the middle of the night, you go to the bed or to the, to the bathroom. Not my babies. Um, yeah, he goes up with them. Um, <laughs> weather, around here, we have wind, a lot of wind, and it's constant. So you think about wind or even storms with thunder and stuff like that. You're going to have constant disruption there. Uh, Fourth of July, it's not just one day. It's usually about two to three weeks because people don't know how to set it off on the day. They like to celebrate a long time before and a long time after. Um, stress, and when you go to sleep, you have your mind thinking. It doesn't shut down. So even if you fall asleep nicely, you can wake up thinking about something, whether you forgot something or if you're really going through something that's causing stress and your mind just keeps going. Um, your health, if you have bad health issues, um, that will always play with you throughout your sleep, throughout the waking hours. Um, pain, obviously. Uh, getting older, your hormones change. Um, for women, it's menopause because of men. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, we we. It, it cut, well, I'm, not, I'm gonna finish my list. Okay. Menopause um, is a huge problem for women, um, and your hormone levels change a lot in men as well as you age. Mm -hmm. It changes, it drops. Uh, caffeine intake, room temperature, whether it's too hot or too cold, yep. or if you fall asleep, it's about staying asleep. So you can fall asleep even in really hot temperatures, but staying asleep is a different thing. Um, if you're in a new place. Like if you go to a hotel or you get a... That, I wrote house. on that too. Mm -hmm. um, eating too late because then your body digestion and everything kicks in and it does. It affects... I have the weirdest dreams if I eat pork. <laughs> Bacon. We have both had this. Yeah. Really? If I eat Bacon. pork before oh, if bed, I eat oh my gosh. Like You have weird, weird dreams, dreams with pork? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like pork chops. Oh my gosh. That sets off amazing dreams. But also... <laughs> Medications, change of seasons. <laughs> change of seasons is big on people, especially mm -hmm. with mental. Um, mm -hmm. And blue light. 
Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those were things I was just thinking about. These are natural sleep disruptions that we have in everyday life. And we don't realize it. Yeah. So when we talk about sleep disruptions, it doesn't have to be massive article featuring things. It's literally everyday situations. Yep. And the best way to avoid it is good sleep hygiene. Just just mm -hmm. look up look up on it. We need to cover good sleep hygiene in a video. You actually That'd be great. Did sleep I have several I have several times, yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. We need to do some new stuff. Yep. We need to relaunch Sleep Coach. I need to get on that. See, I have crazy dreams. I've been thinking about this since you guys were talking about you it. You have crazy dreams? When I camp. When really? I go outside into the mountains, mm -hmm. I have the wildest dreams when really? I'm outside in a tent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you totally feel freed. And so your Something. mind just goes. Yeah. I mean, I used to live in a tent on the south rim of the Grand Canyon for three months at a time. And so like home was a tent. And yeah, whenever we go camping, I have crazy dreams. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, getting back to topics. That was interesting. <laughs> Next week, we'll cover, um, like you we're talking about sleep medications, because I think mm -hmm. that's an important topic. And I pulled up an awesome article that I think all of us can really cool. talk about. Okay, so Fishbowl originally started with us going and getting together and going over the questions that our customers were asking throughout the week. So what we do now is instead of you know, training ourselves, we're actually sharing the information with you so that way more people know the answers to these questions. So mm -hmm. that was like a lot of words on one breath. Did you notice that? I did. That was you a lot. Out. Are we going to be doing page two a little bit later in the show today? Um, no. no. Okay. We're yeah, going to wait gonna on that. We're going to wait on that. I yeah. can put my homework yeah. down. <laughs> Look, we have homework now. That's how important we've taken fishbowl. It's next level stuff. All right. Anyways. Okay. So. Okay, our adjustable base makes our bed way too high. Is there a way to bring it down to a height that is easier for my wife to get into bed? Now you had just the opposite of that today. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm having are you having microphone I'm issues? I'm having microphone issues. We've had microphone issues this the is entire night. This is part of the dip discombobulation part. All right. Well, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get with Gretch. You so. you do that All while right. I do something here. Our adjustable base makes our bed way too high. Is there a way to bring it down to a height that is easier for my wife to get into bed? Yes. Okay. How do they do that? <laughs> There's a small, a medium, and you put them together to make a tall option for the legs on all adjustable bases. Well, not all, most. And what that does is it allows you to raise the actual level of the adjustable mm -hmm. base, which obviously is going to affect the height of the mattress. Mm -hmm. So if it's too tall and you need to bring it down, then go to a smaller setting on the leg. Yep. And you had the opposite today. What did you have today? I actually, the question I had was, can you raise the height of our bed another three inches mm -hmm. with the adjustable base because we would like to use it for storage? Oh, they that's want, interesting. They actually want to build a storage unit, a handcrafted storage unit with drawers and stuff to go underneath it, but they need it raised up just a little bit more to give a little bit more storage capabilities underneath it. So yes, mm -hmm. we can go up in increments of three. Mm -hmm. uh, at some point it gets ridiculous. Yeah. You know, then you're kind of like, whoa, it's like a, one of those. Like, Ceiling little, fan, what? I think of yeah. those <laughs> like little like huts in the ocean and the mangroves with the ocean the Nobody houses? else is thinking that. Everybody else is thinking about their ceiling fan. <laughs> but you can think of mangroves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> oh tide, dear. You know. Oh, they have those houses in Louisiana too, when the floodwaters come in. Stilts. Yeah. I'm thinking stilts. Everybody okay. else is thinking about their ceiling fan hitting them. <laughs> but you so went. So yes, we can raise your bed. Yes, or lower it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's and really important too if you think about if you have an existing bed because when you set an adjustable base inside mm -hmm. of it, Has to match those rails. side rails, those are knuckle busters if you don't have it set right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Yeah, and we had somebody that, that uh, we actually had to adjust their bed a couple of times because sh first it was too tall, so we lowered it, then we raised it, or no, we lowered it, and then she tried to change her sheets. She hadn't thought of that, so she called me about a week later, and she's like, you're going to hate me. And I was all, why? I need to raise the bed. I can't change the sheets. And I was all, well, I'm not coming over every week. I'm going to do it for you <laughs> one time. No, anyways, no, that was really awesome because it was a good lesson for me as well because I honestly thought that it was because it was safer for her to have the bed lower, it was better for her. But no, because she had to change the sheets, 
she was literally having to dig into the rails and she was she was slightly a experienced see I use that word instead of older she was slightly experienced and <laughs> at, you know it would have been a, tr a problem for her to lift a bed constantly that was good. That was Regardless that is diplomacy. Of age, that issue can occur. Yes, definitely, <laughs> especially with me changing our bed. Okay, so I'm well. wearing space pants, by the way. Yes, yes, you are. Did you see that? That's all galaxies. You know what I thought of a lot when I saw <laughs> them first thing this morning was Battlestar Galactica. Do you remember that show from way back in the yeah. day? Yeah, yeah, like, that's I awesome. Back to questions. Back to questions. Breathe it in. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I saw I saw your bed jet video on YouTube. How does it work? Can it really cool you down? Now we're getting these questions because um, let's see in Alamo we've already gotten up to what 82, mm -hmm. and in Carlsbad when you guys were there it was 85. No, it was it was only 72. Oh, oh, okay. It, they have been going up. <laughs> they've and gone up down. though, right? Yeah, I have they've had been going highs and lows, and it's. It's all over the place. Yeah, they've, Mexico, I think they've you're hit. Drunk, go home. Yeah, yeah, I think they've hit 87. So yeah. So Bedjet, can it really cool you down? You guys have played with Bedjet more than I have. Who wants to go first? Yes, it can. <laughs> I love the Bedjet. It's so awesome because it's amazing. You know what's really wonderful about it is the option to adjust the temperature because you know you want to fall asleep, so you want a little bit cooler right? Mm -hmm. This kind of goes back to some of the sleep study stuff. You adjust it so that you can lower the temperature. You don't have to force the temperature, ambient temperature in the entire room. You just do it under the covers. And then actually in order to wake up and come out of your sleep cycle, then you need to warm up a little bit and you can just program that and set a time for your uh, bed jet to then set to a little temperature and give you a little bit of warming up. They discovered that because they thought people would say, well, I just need five minutes with my cup of coffee. Well, in that five minutes that you're waking up, the caffeine actually doesn't kick in for 15 or 20 minutes. Right. And it's the temperature change in your body that's warming up your body temperature that's Keeps waking you, you up. Picks you up, yep. yep. So, yeah, you can do that with your bed jet, hot, cold, hot, cold. Or if you're like me, hot, cold, hot, cold. And I am just really hot right now. I can't imagine why. So, <laughs> the bed jet means something <laughs> completely different to you. What does the bed jet mean to you? Warm. Yes. Because I'm always cold. And oh dear. I think Sorry. in the morning, if <laughs> I Speaking added of. heat, I don't think I would wake up. I would sleep a little longer. <laughs> yeah. So I would have to make mine cold in the morning. But it is awesome because your hormone levels change throughout the night. And they have discovered that you can actually pre-program your bed sleep by temperature. So whenever you know you're going to have hot spells, and that's usually your deep sleep and stuff, then what you can do is make your temperature cooler during those hours. So you're presetting it throughout the night. So when you're sleeping, the temperature fluctuates with you. Um, you were saying something about the bed jet and menopause at one point. Yes. They have discovered that it really helps women with menopause with hot flashes. Wow. And um, the night sweats. Mm -hmm and stuff so whenever people have menopause and they're going through those stages and, and they just can't cool off or they'll be freezing and then the next second they are just dripping with sweat you have something that can work with you i mean even if it's set on a timer and that hormone kicks in you can grab the remote and set the temperature right then and there so you don't have to lay there and wait for it um it's something you can control with you and and so during our training call you guys were talking with dave uh, in Carlsbad, our manager in Carlsbad, mm -hmm. and you were telling him that it's not enough to have the bed jet, but you have to have at least a sheet or a, a blanket on top. Why is that? Yeah, if you're going to have the bed jet on you, you don't want it blowing into the air. You want it blowing into the sheets because that's where your body is. So in between the fitted sheet and the loose sheet, you want the bed jet to be blowing. Okay. So it's like if mm -hmm. you can think about being in a bubble there. And they actually sell sheets that fit around the bed jet and then the comforter and stuff has a divider. So let's say your husband is always hot and he likes air conditioning and your wife is always cold and she likes heat. You can have each mm -hmm. one for yourself in the same bed and have the temperature that you want. Wow. So you, you save money that way, though, if you think about it, because... Like, you like the temperature in the house really cold. I love the temperature in the house, very cold. And I like really mm -hmm. hot. Very cold. Like, when you come home and you say, it's like 80 degrees, which it probably is, and I'm perfectly comfortable. <laughs> 
So with that, you can save a lot of money on your AC bill, too, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. instead of cranking up and air conditioning the whole house, you have a bed jet fan that's just working on your area in the bed. And over time, if you think about your AC bill, if you were to say, let's say for a year, um, your AC mm -hmm. bill that's contributions a good point. and the yep. savings will pay off for the amount that you pay for your budget. Yep. Even. That's like, true. It just makes sense. That's true. And it affects year round. So you're not having to worry about if the air conditioner gets fixed. Because down here we have what's called swamp coolers. And you probably have never heard of that if you haven't lived in the Southwest. But we're so dry, we don't like just air conditioning. Um, Swamp coolers add moisture to the air because we're in the desert. So swamp cooler, you can Google that. Y'all. <laughs> so with that, you don't get to just flip a switch and turn your heat on and flip the switch back and have air conditioning. You actually have a swamp cooler that you have to leave on and weatherize. Yeah. <laughs> Either you set it for winter or you set either. it for summer. <laughs> so you can't just flip a switch every day. So the bed jet. Yeah, you comes literally cannot bed. switch a switch. I mean, you shut that thing down. And it crusts over with caliche and it oh. becomes all like dried out and like like the inside of Carl's bed caverns. Yes. And then you have to change the pads. Sometimes some of us New Mexicans write a little sticky note and we put it right next to the swamp cooler so that you don't forget to just keep it on low or keep the pump running. Because if you shut that whole puppy down for 24 hours, you got a big problem. I know that was another like side I'm like, trick. what? <laughs> some of you out there know what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> Okay, so so bed jet, I'm going to herd the let's cats. Let's say you want to purchase a bed jet because it sounds awesome. It sounds like something you really want. Now, is this yeah. something that you can drop ship to them? To Directly the to the customer. So if you want yep. one right now, we just give us a call. We'll ship it yep. to you. That's right. Yep. Doesn't yep. matter where you live. So, so okay. Hers was heat. <laughs> You've actually played in it to cool you down because you were having some issues at the time. How cool can it get? I've never had those kinds of issues. I thought you were. I'm always a cold person. I'm oh. usually here in the store. Who am I remembering? Um, I don't know, but I sometimes here in the store, if I get really cold during the daytime, when the air conditioner is on, I will go and lay on the bed jet and just kick it on with the heat. And it kind of like gets me warm again. Oh, you but guys. I, can, I have talked to so many customers that come in and they can't sleep because they're too hot yep. year round. Yep. And they just think it's amazing. And a lot of a lot of people go for that cooling capability. So so if you guys aren't gonna answer to how cold it can get, I'll tell you how cold it can get. We've had it down in here to about 67 degrees, which is way too cold for you to really be sleeping with 67 degrees in your bed. Um, ideally, you're probably talking anywhere from 72 to 75, probably even 80, because you really are with constant air blowing on you. So it's a really good sleep. And it, it has That's different speeds. <laughs> <laughs> it has speeds. You can you can just a little bit. Or Are you hearing her? She's all. That's way too cold. Yeah. Uh, well, anyways, a, I think it goes up to like 119 or something yeah. amazing. They had it up to 119. It's no joke. They've had it up to 119. You know when they say, "What's your number on the bed jet?" Mine's 114. <laughs> It's, it's what's your number on our number beds. It's not what's your number on the bed jet. Well, we were saying it when we were trying out. What's your number? <laughs> what do you have? Anyways, on to a, a third question because we're like taking our time on questions today. So uh, we'll probably just do, how many are we down? Yeah, we're going to do one more question before break. <laughs> All right. I bought microfiber sheets that don't fit my bed at beep. They aren't deep enough to go under my bed. What should I look for when I buy sheets to make sure they fit? What are you thinking here? Oh, I just go through the, the realm of like, well, you know, our feet have sizes, our mattress has sizes, so mm -hmm. you have to buy what fits your mattress just like you mm -hmm. buy a shoe that fits your feet. Definitely measure it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if your yep. mattress is 15 inches, then you need to find a sheet that has the depth. Mm -hmm. Of at least. Of at least. Yes. And the thing is, is they will shrink if they're cotton. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind. And you will also have some sheets that are just made to fit more taunt. So you want to make sure that it's a little looser because especially if you have a plush mattress, it will make it feel more firm. Mm -hmm. So you covered a couple things that we're going to address there, but what were you were going to say something. The there's sheets more. that we carry here in store, we have the vast majority of our choices do cover anywhere between a 10 inch and above mm -hmm. for uh, protection. The average uh, mattress is going to be around 10 inches. Then they go up to um, Heck, 
23. 23, some of the really deep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we, we've got some that are very, very deep pocketed. Um, and they're, those sheets fit both of those. Mm -hmm. um, now they have elastic that pulls it underneath and pulls it, you know, so the if you have a thinner mattress, it's not going to be like balloon balloon mm -hmm. but the the idea there is that they're still going to be loose because it's when you get in there with your weight you're pushing down the mattress like a hammock and they want it to be loose so you create that hammock because like miss gretchen was saying is if you have taunt. it really taunt it's going to pull up those corners and the the sheets are going to keep popping off now we mm -hmm. do have sheets that specifically will will really snag under there um, and hold tight for those corners, mm -hmm. uh, but it also will warp your your mattress and pull up the, the edges. So when you were talking taunt and when you were talking taunt, the one thing that I wanna uh, throw in there under the taunt sheets is it will cha completely change the characteristics of your bed. Are you saying taunt? Taunt. Like taunt. taunting? Tight. When taut. 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 Taunt. East is Spanish, we say taunt. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Tot. when the sheets are tight <laughs> and like a drum on your on your bed, what it can do is change the complete ca characteristic. Characteristic. I can use that word. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it, it'll change the characteristics of your bed. What we've had in the past is people will use an older mattress protector that is super tight on their bed, and it and they're like, but when you we were here, it was such a soft bed. And I'll go to their house to check it to see what's going on. And it's actually a mattress protector that's like tight on there. And th when you tell them that, they're like, oh, mm -hmm. and that's, that, that's the same with sheets. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that in because that does change the characteristic of your bed. Um, so what is, what, what's the term she's looking for? Just so that way. <coughs> deep pocketed. Deep pocketed. Okay. So that's the term you're looking for is deep pocketed. Um, or look at the side of the box or the, the packaging and s look for anything that says 15 to 23, 15, I think 15 to 28 is, is what we have at biggest. No, ours goes up to 22. It's 22? Yes. Okay, so 15 to 22. So mm -hmm. that's what you're looking for with sheets. Make sure you get the right ones because otherwise you are in for some interesting nights when your sheets are all wrapped around you. So That's so frustrating. It's very frustrating. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's even worse though when it pops off and snaps you in the face or when it gets on your foot. Oh, that drove me nuts. I, when I was, <laughs> it's not kidding, when I was a teenager. This is a story I've got to hear. My mom used to buy those elastics that you can actually connect to the corner oh, of yeah, yeah, yeah. to hold mm -hmm. your sheets on. And I don't know if I used to run in my sleep or what, but <laughs> those <laughs> corners on the bottom would always slap off and you'd be sleeping all of a sudden it's like whack across your foot. <laughs> And it, you push it and it comes right back up. So you would have to get up and refix your sheet to go back to sleep. It was really annoying. Yeah. So That can truly happen. Yes. And with that, we're going to take our small break and we will be right back. Bye. Yay. Are you needing an adjustable base but just can't choose the right one? Are there so many features that it confuses the heck out of you? In this video, we're going to review the M655, the newest space from Aloof, our newest space in the store. Hi, I'm Javier from Livewell Mattress and Furnishing Centers, and in today's new item video, we're going to talk about Maloof M655 adjustable base. We're also going to have someone flapping their ears in the background for no known reason. Shopping for an adjustable base can be quite confusing. There's lots of buttons on a remote and half of the time you don't know what they do. Everything from underbed lighting to nine different massages to all kinds of lumbar support. What do you need and what don't you need? The M655 answers that question by having everything that's essential plus all the extras that you will love. The M655 has multiple features. First off, its head up and foot up features allows you to raise your head and raise your foot in an infinite amount of settings. The M655 also has nine different massage modes. It has two motors for massage, one at the head, one at the foot, and it has nine different ways that it does massaging. For anything from wave to pulse to continuous massage, this 
M655 has it all for you. The M655 also has pillow tilt. Pillow tilt allows for your head to be raised along with your pillow as you're reading a book in bed, maybe watching a little video on your phone. It will lift your head up ever so slightly so that way your head stays with your pillow. Another popular use for pillow tilt is to help relieve snoring. What it does in this point is it lifts your head ever so slightly to a point where all of the obstruction slows down or silence snoring. One of the greatest features that the M655 has is Bluetooth connectivity. What that means is you can actually control the M655 with your phone. All the features of the remote translate into a handy mobile app on your phone that you can control at any time. Another handy feature on the 655 is underbed lighting. Underbed lighting allows for you to get in and out of bed in the middle of the night without having to wake up your partner. It sheds just the right amount of light onto the floor so that way you can see if you're stepping on any unicorn toys, dogs, cats, dog toys, or Lego blocks. Another key feature on the M655 is called zero clearance. Zero clearance allows you to place the M655 on any platform bedroom furniture. Platform bedroom furniture is the type of furniture that doesn't require a box spring. You basically put your mattress on top and that's the way you sleep on it. Well, with the M655, you have zero clearance, which means that you can slip the M655 on top of the slats of your platform bed and allow your bed to go on top of the M655 without any issue. Another great feature on the M655 is snore detection. Snore detection is allowing your phone to control the head lift on your adjustable base. When your phone hears a certain decibel of noise coming from the bed, it will lift the head up a couple of inches until it stops hearing the noise and eliminates the snoring. I hope this video has helped you see all the cool features an adjustable base can have. It just so happens the 655 has all of these features. It's our top pick. It's new to us here at the store. And it's unicorn approved. Hey, Javier with Live Well Mattress and Furnishing Centers. If this video has been helpful to you, please like, share, or subscribe to our YouTube channel to see future videos. Until next time, have a great day. And we're back. Yay. What'd you think of that commercial? That was pretty good. That was awesome. Yeah. We're getting so good. Yeah, we're getting all there. that. It's yeah. getting better and better. I recognize the hat from the commercial, so. Yeah. 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 Isn't it awesome? Look at this. Wait, say a joke or something or tweet it or something. Tweet. Yeah. Tweet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what do you want to do tonight, Brain? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, dear. it's awesome. It's air propelled. Where you guys get these things, I have no clue. Boop, I don't boop, even want to know. Boop, boop, that was part of the gift package. Yay. It's awesome. I and wanted her to get little that hearts one a while back, but on the, the thing is, is it didn't come in. They didn't have any left. Was it on the same boat as the garden gnomes? <laughs> no. Yeah, pretty much, maybe. Did I, you? Did we had to wait. Well, it said they had there was them, a delay. and then I stuck it in the basket to buy it. And then by the time I bought it, it wasn't there anymore. So I ordered it again. And this time it came in. This is in high demand. Yes. Oh, yeah. So you deprived some poor child because they probably ran out of stock. They can wait their turn like she had to. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has to wait in there, line. There's a whole bunch of us that are... To answer your question before you even <laughs> type it into that, that comment box, yes, she has worn that in the store. I do. Yes. yes. It's super fun. We were waiting, you know, to really debut it until after the release of this. So it'll be more often that I'm actually wearing this when you walk in the door. Oh, dear. And when somebody says anything that's surprising, I can just be like. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, when you wear a mask and it covers your face, her ears do the talking. So it works. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. All right. So yeah, this because, is. Yeah, because you don't see smiles in anything. So, you know, she surprise. can just flap her ears really fast when she's excited and happy. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she can she flirt could. with one little flip of an ear. Oh, yeah. Yep. Look, show, show your flirt. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Anyways. She can sneeze with both ears. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the part of the show where we share with you what we've learned from the week. And what I've learned is these two are, um, they got issues. We're awesome. This is also really awesome. <laughs>
<laughs> I bet it's like so glowy. Yep. It's like All right. Magic. So it's magic trick. <laughs> it's an orb. <laughs> what, did, what did you learn today or this week or ever? I would have to say because quickly every, stop her. <laughs> every time we go in the office, it's just another reminder of the Dionys. Yeah, there's still a lot of Dionys left over. Because yeah. I haven't there's been a able lot to move of back, to the back yet. But I have to say, I've been sampling different um, fragrances, and I'm really liking some of our new ones. So we have an American one, mm -hmm. and even the bottle is dressed up with red, white, and blue, and it smells like homemade apple pie. It's amazing. It's so we had good. we had a lady come in here that she specifically comes here for the Dionys stuff. And um, and you guys you guys weren't here you guys were in the car on your Carlsbad trip so she came in and it was like you could almost hear the angels sing it was like oh yeah. when because she saw it and she <laughs> was like oh my gosh <laughs> so she specifically came in for a small tube for her purse and she said tomorrow which is, would be Saturday or yeah she said Saturday which will be tomorrow to us uh, she will be in and be like completely shopping because this was just her lunch break. And she specifically came for one of those things. For one of it the was, Yeah, it was super cute. And uh, so when she saw it, she was like, holy smoke. So she's coming in tomorrow, and I'm sure she's going to buy quite a few of them because she was just like, I can't believe you guys have so many of them. Yeah, yeah. there's well over there's well over 20, 20 different fragrances over there. Fragrances? I, I did say fragrances. <laughs> fragrances. You guys well, heard correctly. I have to say... <laughs> I am most excited about the coconut flavored. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It's like coconut milk. It's not like mm -hmm. sweet, sweet It's coconut. very summery. It's yes. like summer. It's like a, a soft undertone of coconut and it is amazing. And the men's lotion, I've been encouraging the guys when they come through, go try it. It smells like aftershave, uh -huh. but it's a light smell. And I mean, it's the men's line, and yeah. it's yeah. made for body and hands, mm -hmm. so it's going to be aggressive as far as healing if you get the rough hands and it's, stuff. It's healed my thumb. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, uh, for months, I was not able to use the thumbprint on my phone, and with the Dionys, I use it twice a day, and it's healed my thumb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially right now when we're using so much alcohol, sanitizers, and yep. all kinds of washing our hands so much, it's really great to have yep. a skincare product that, it, you know, is good for you, and it there's also really cute little baby goats involved in the whole process and i, I wonder <laughs> if they do goat yoga too uh, oh, no. i want a fainting goat though oh those are so awesome here we go they'll be like <laughs> guard dogs they'll just bad people and then as soon as you need them to come in your yard you just clap they fall over people can come in have so you is seen that fate on a slide like that yeah. is the craziest it's sad thing. like they jump lock. and then they lock and then they slide down it's horrible so the way this works <laughs> is whenever they have a fear response in their brain it releases a chemical that causes their joints to lock up oh, I, I've, <laughs> I've, I've seen them yeah i'm yeah. just i'm trying to herd you guys in but uh, I'd, I'd let you go for a little bit to see how far you go now i'm gonna reel you back in so, so is that all you learned this week is that well as far as the <laughs> products that's what i'm in constant reminding mode of yeah um, but we have a lot more of the lotions too, if you like a lighter feel, but because the pH on there is just like human, I mean, literally the pH of a goat is so similar to a human that when you put the, even the thick creams on, it disappears. You don't feel mm -hmm. the grease. Yeah, it, it goes into your skin quickly. Even human babies can drink goat's milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's and a great substitute for <laughs> breast milk. <laughs> they make very good cheese, too. Yeah. Okay, cheese anyways, really so what did you learn this week? <laughs> well, I already shared a little bit about what I learned, but I did learn some other stuff Okay. that uh, I think we can use. So I, I read up a little bit more about this foam shortage. Okay. Oh, that's impacting. We should cover that because it impacted Woo! us this week this tremendously. Is, this is unreal. So... One of the factors involved in all of this is, okay, so you, when the Gulf, okay, so when manufacturing stopped early COVID-19, right, obviously there's less people making stuff. Okay, well then the next thing was the blizzards that hit the Gulf Coast. Okay, well, the vast majority of those chemicals that are instrumental in the process of making foams and plastics and nylons and stuff come specifically from the Gulf Coast. Right. Okay. Well, it's a petroleum derivative. It's not very effective to create foam and then transport it out across 
the country. Right. So what they do instead of like manufacturing foam and stockpiling it because it takes up so much space because mm -hmm. foam is mostly just air, um, is that they, they transport the chemical agents rather than the foam itself to the manufacturing and then uh, that, that, but that is not, you can't, you can't contain that chemical very easily. So those manufacturers depend on a constant steady flow. Right. Okay, and these come in uh, liquid containers on railroad tracks and on trucks and stuff like that. So when that constant flow, it's kind of like a pipeline of this chemical, but it's based in our trains and trucks and right. planes, oh mm -hmm. my. Um, <laughs> I don't think they put it on a plane, but you no. know, I was where it's going there. So that is what is kind of tripping it up and causing an even more domino effect. Is and the shipping then, uh, restrictions, yeah. When the blizzards hit those manufacturing businesses, um, what really did the most damage is the not necessarily the structural stuff because they're used to having hurricanes. Okay. So Texas wasn't caught off guard with like the buildings and stuff like that. They're, they're used to having some serious problems. What it was, was the loss of electrical power. The and when the, right. Yeah, and when the power went out and all of the electric went out, they in t turn lost um, the, 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 the pro you know, w they couldn't power and, and keep going. So it just came to a complete screeching halt. And luckily nobody was injured during that process because it's, there's a lot of yeah. things involved and a lot of venting that should have been happening. Venting and, yeah. and mm -hmm. there's, there's all kinds of nitro, there's lots of gases involved in this process as well that have to be, you know, controlled. Um, it was like what this article uh, likened it to was an, um, do they call them F5s or H5s? It's a like a class of oh, uh -huh. hurricane. Mm -hmm. It was the five. It's almost like a number five hit Texas in at midnight. And just that was stopped. the damage that happened. Mm -hmm. um, and they were not calculating for that in the in the middle of the night with all that. So the reason that she researched it so hardy is because we got hit big time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know if you guys have been watching the show, we've told you we're going to bleed at some point. Um, we have, we've stocked up on a lot of our things, so we still have stock, we still have a lot of stock, mm -hmm. but the past two weeks we've been without a truck, so we were like, oh, it'll just be another week and we'll get a truck. No, today we got a phone call saying that, hey, you're not getting anything until May 5th because we didn't get a single bit of foam last week. They went from 30 to 40 percent to zero percent right. foam. Mm -hmm. um, that's insane. And so when you think of the numbers that they're pumping out and have to catch up on, we're lucky. We, we, we won't have to wait until, what I tell you guys, May 5th? May 5th. Yeah. yeah so got 12 days from today. Yeah. So 12 days from today is when we'll get our first shipment in the month. Of, well, in, it's, uh, it's going to be a month of, of having no shipments. Um, again, we have stock. We aren't in full panic mode. It's just, it's blowing our minds. We, we expected it to be interesting but this is full on breaks hit no yeah. nothing moving and we have enough stock right now to bridge the gap we totally like do we yeah. like we're still if you order a mattress today we're looking at another three weeks you know depending on the situation now if this situation continues to get more complicated expect that to go out mm -hmm. but like we said we do have stuff uh, in stock for you yeah i would say we have like of our top sellers, we have enough for the three weeks. We totally have enough of our top sellers. It's the special order ones that might take a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. um, and when you tend to need the special orders, you tend to understand that. But so yes, it's concerning to us and we'll stay on top of it and we'll, we'll communicate with you more on that. But yeah. And expect delays across the board in pillows because they're also manufactured using foams yep. and latexes. and. And it's not just the pillows we carry in store. I've, I have seen uh, some uh, buzz online today regarding other pillows that are specifically ordered online. And those consumers have also been told, hey, we are out of stock. We, c we can't access our phone. We can't make the pillows. Some very big, big names that I won't say here. Wow. Um, but that was in some of the article that I, I read. So 
there are consumers out there that are wondering what the heck is going on mm -hmm. and they have been thankful for the information that that they're receiving we seem repetitive because we say it every single day yeah, yeah we're always putting it out there but there are customers or uh, listeners right now that this is their first time tuning in and this is all brand new news to them so yep mm -hmm. yep so we've been dealing with it we are ahead of the game we are doing just fine uh, it's just the special order stuff that we yeah. may have to have. And you it's wait not a little just bit. mattress; it's right. furniture. Mm -hmm. Expect a three to six month wait at this point. Right, mm -hmm. right. If, you know, if you see it on the floor, we can get it. But if you want it in, you know, if we've got brown and you want it in blue, expect a, at least a three to six month wait. It could, it could be a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and, and auto industry. Yep. Oh, auto industries in shambles. Um, just the, the the furniture itself. Just to give you guys a little bit of of, of more background on that. The shipping industry is literally saying that they will not catch up to anything until September. That's how backed up they are. It's it's insane. So and they're also at their highest. We yeah. Were talking about that yep. this morning. Yep. The shipping industry is at the highest it has ever been. Matter of fact, the quote that was offered this morning was that it was like putting two years of Christmas deliveries together, and what our shipping industry is going through right now is even more than that so it's crazy yeah it's not about the slow processes it's about the catch-up because of the shortages and then trying to process where it would have been if we had ordered regularly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so our shipping industry is absolutely like out of sorts um, trying to catch up to everything so and everybody I, yep. is I think you had mentioned exports have changed too yeah here yeah. in this country that yeah. we're no longer no, no longer exporting certain goods and right. products um, because of the amount of time it takes to um, inspect um, those. Yep. American agriculture is suffering right now. So mm -hmm. our farmers yeah. are being hit really hard. Yep. 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 So we need to, we need to think about them. They're, they're, it's a different economy right now and I'm hoping things go back to, well, you can't say it. You, you, things, not are not, things are not going to go back to normal. We just, better. we just need to figure out how to, to change with the times. And that's, that's really what the key is. You know what? Necessity is a mother of all inventions. Exactly. So this is really where our, our, our smartest brains and our, our, our biggest thinkers and minds are really coming together. Um, so I think this is a really important time to focus on, you know, how to create things that make this better yep. um, and it's forcing us to think outside of the boxes and mm -hmm. to th uh, to look at different ways and I've, I've been coming up and maybe that's what I'll focus on next fishbowl are things that didn't exist pre-COVID that now exist in our society today are products yep. um, that that are, are making our lives much easier which yep. had we we didn't even think about them pre-COVID nope. so nope. you know something what? else to think too when you were mentioning farmers mm -hmm. um, I've been really following the news pro programs that are referencing, we're going to have a bad drought. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. From California all the way to New Mexico, and it goes up, up into Colorado, over to Nevada, and then back down. Um, we're going to have a pretty bad drought. And it's already started showing. I was really wanting to take my kids um, on a summer vacation to go river rafting this year, but the, the levels are already low. Even with the current snow levels that we've been getting, the melt off from Colorado is still not suffice. It's still not where it should be as an average. It's already starting low. And that's a really bad sign because yep. it's only gonna get hotter and drier. Yep. So this summer is gonna be something really bad. So buckle down and get prepared for it. Um, get those cool sheets, get that bed jet. <laughs> get the cool pillows. Yeah, get a unicorn. Yeah. yeah, sleeping cool is going to be a major concern <laughs> this year. It yeah. really is going to be a major concern. Being cool, yeah. yep. And, yep. and keeping cool all the time because if you wait until the day of and then you start saying, oh, I should probably do something, with all the shortages going on right now, you're going to be left hot. Yep. I mean, there's, no gonna, there's not going to be a recovery for you. In other so. words, we oh. have it We have it now. Yep. Come get it now. <laughs> we have yeah. everything to make your life more comfortable. Yep. We've got beds. We've got furniture mm -hmm. here in, star, in store. Look at all this nice stuff to make your, your home a sanctuary because uh, you're spending a lot more time there. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And we can make you comfortable and sleep. We've got great pajamas. We got oh aromatherapy no, she's a commercial. So that you can, <laughs> at the end of the night, we've got uh, candles to start your your unwinding routine. Light a candle. We got bath salts. We've got 
bath bombs coming in. Are you done? We got aromatherapy. She's a walking commercial. We have pillows. Sorry. We're going to have some really awesome pillowcases coming in. Amazing decor. So you can this is like the wall. comfort Anyways, zone. This is where you come for be, comfort. Before yeah. they started and the smiles. commercial, I wanted to mention <laughs> that that the American consumer is doing exactly what Melanie was saying mm -hmm. is that you know, it, necessity is the mother of invention, but it's also the mother of intention. And the American consumer is buying more American made product. Mm -hmm. And um, I totally appreciate that. And I know as a as business owners, we completely appreciate it. So we're yeah. seeking what we can find American made. So mm -hmm. yep. yeah, just know. Oh. This Sunday, National Penguin Day. I just want you to know if you come by the store today, this is the debut of which is uh, Saturday. Which is yes. Saturday, because mm -hmm. uh, we're we're filming this on Friday. I am going to be dressed like a penguin. Oh dear. There may or may not be a unicorn horn incorporated into the penguin, but okay. in order to celebrate National Penguin Day, now we did have Earth Day this week, so did happy you dress like belated the Earth? Earth Day. No. You know, I just was <laughs> not on my game for that. You ate extra granola that day. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, you know, every day is Earth Day Did for me. Did you have a little bit yeah. more so dirt on you than normal? Maybe. See? So <laughs> I did, every day is Earth Day, but uh, definitely come by, see, you know, celebrate uh, National Penguin Day. There'll be a picture for this because I'm sure by the time we get this downloaded, We'll be able to put a picture in right here. <laughs> Happy National <laughs> Penguin Day 2021. Uh, that will be on Sunday the 25th. Is that the 25th? I believe so, yes. Yes, so. Uh, you're just scaring me with t the thoughts of tomorrow's outfit. I cannot wait. I have it all laid out. Shirt tomorrow because it's like water and ice. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> all right. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Day, bye. <laughs>